Katsushika Hokusai was a Japanese artist from the Edo period. He lived from 1760 to 1849 and is arguably the best known artist from the Edo period. The Edo period in Japan is a time where art really flourished. Author of Japanese art explains, For ordinary people, peasants, and townsmen alike, this was a vigorous artistic period, and it also marks the most notable departure from previous eras. The Edo period in Japan spanned from 1600 up until 1868, and it was really centered around the city of Edo, which is also known as present-day Tokyo. A new genre of art called the ukiyo-e emerged during the Edo period. The ukiyo-e is a Japanese woodblock art style that was heavily used during this time, and it is what hokusai is very well known for using. The ukiyo-e is a quite complex genre of art. Further explained by Harris, the ukiyo-e was originated as a Buddhist term meaning floating world and refers to the impermanence of the world. The earliest prints were made in only black and white, but later, as evident from Hokusai's work, additional colors were added. A separate block of wood was used for each color. Each print is made with a final overlay of black line, which helps to break up the flat colors. Ukiyo-e prints are recognizable for their emphasis on line and pure bright color, as well as their ability to distill form down to the minimum. His most famous works come from his 36-part series, The 36 Views of Mount Fuji. This series that Hokusai created are different perspectives and viewpoints of Mount Fuji. It's important to note why Mount Fuji, what was so significant about Mount Fuji that led Hokusai to create not one, but a total of 36 prints dedicated to it. Harris, writer for Khan Academy, dives into this question a bit further. They explain Mount Fuji in Japan has long been considered sacred. Hokusai is often described as having a personal fascination with the mountain, which sparked his interest in making the series. The three pieces that will be discussed are The Great Wave off Kanagawa, Shore of Tago Bay Ijiri at Tokaido, and The Tea House at Koshikawa. The Great Wave off Kanagawa is not only the best known piece from the 36 views of Mount Fuji series, it is also Hokusai's best known work and it is one of the most famous Japanese pieces ever created. It is often considered a masterpiece, and it is very much an icon to this day. The print is depicting massive waves along with three boats entangled in them. The waves are commonly mistaken for a tsunami, but are in fact rogue waves, which means that the huge waves suddenly appeared. In the back is Mount Fuji, and it appears to look like it is on top of the waves. Hokusai has arranged the composition to frame Mount Fuji. The curves of the wave and hull of, of one boat dip down just low enough to allow the base of Mount Fuji to be visible, and the white top of the great wave creates a diagonal line that leads the viewer's eye directly to the peak of the mountain top. At first glance, this piece looks very simple. First observations would be, of course, the monstrous waves, but at a closer look, a small mountain can be seen in the distance, and of course, the boats can also be seen in the foreground. The waves themselves look menacing, and Hokusai seem to give the waves claws as well as making them appear massive. While the waves are what takes the most space on this piece, the main focus is none other than Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is centered in this print, and it is what this piece is meant to showcase. Being the first of his 36 prints, this was just the beginning of Hokusai's focus on Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji, a clear cultural landmark stemmed from Shinto beliefs, and a harmonious connection between humans and the nature spirits called Kami. Mount Fuji was regarded as an immortal monument of nature that was constant despite the changing years, turning seasons and variances in the atmosphere. Hokusai furthered this concept by blending an ancient spiritual belief of the immortal mountain with the modern cultural identity of Japan. Many of Hokusai's patrons Shinto believes, were Shinto believers who had been making their journey to Mount Fuji. The other two pieces that I want to talk about are Shore of Tago Bay Ijiri at Tokairo and Tea House at Koishikawa. Both were made sometime during 1830 and 1832 and were both part of the 36 views of Mount Fuji series. Shore of Tago Bay Ijiri at Tokairo is similar to the Great Wave of Kanagawa in the sense that this print is also depicting an ocean with boats and of course the main focus of the piece is Mount Fuji. His next piece, Tea House at Koishikawa, is being depicted during the winter along with a tea house full of guests. The woman pointing at Mount Fuji is pointing it out to the visitors who are visiting the area. Though these pieces aren't as noticeable or even as famous as the Great Wave of Kanagawa, it's important to know how wonderfully creative crafted both of these pieces are. 
Shirov Tagobe i Jiri at Tokairo has a style and form print that is typical of Hokusai and Ukeoe printing, with intricate color detail and dramatic depiction of everyday life within a natural setting. Also, the tea, off, the tea house at Koishikawa is a wonderful example of Hokusai's ability to evoke an image of the changing nature of the environment. Hokusai highlights the effects of, of a single snowfall on the landscape. No surface escapes the simple white blanket. While both of these prints look obviously different, they both have a sense of being related. Hokusai did a wonderful job of making these prints feel, feeling related and part of a series. Without a doubt, Hokusai left his mark in the art world. His works are respected and praised, and rightfully so. He created several masterpieces and is seen as an influential artist not only in Japan, but in the world. In their book, The 36 Views of Mount Fuji, author Fitzberg explains, The 36 Views of Mount Fuji series is perhaps the most widely recognized print series in history. Hokusai's body of work is credited with influencing European artists, such as the Impressionists and Post-Impressionists. Hokusai's legacy lives on and is easily one of the most influential and important artists in history.